Hi everyone and welcome to another video. I am the Fragrance Enjoyer and in this one I'm talking about one of my newest acquisitions from the company called Pure Distance and specifically we're talking about the perfume called A Notice. Now this is the first perfume that I've bought from this brand and it's going to make its first appearance on this channel. I've already unpacked it and I've worn it a couple of times so this is usually how it comes in the box. I'm going to take it off and showcase the box but before I do that Quick shout out to everyone that has watched my previous video. It's uh, actually one of my best videos that I've done yet. And I'm happy to see that most of you guys have actually watched it and also left a comment. So I really appreciate it. And I'm also happy some people have already made purchases based on my reviews. I never really thought that's going to happen, but I'm kind of happy to hear that. So thank you for trusting my nose. But without further ado, let's unpack this one and get into the fragrance itself. Now, in my opinion, it's uh, quite an okay box. To be honest, I don't think it's that special then what you will find inside is another layer is actually gonna open up quite quite nicely and you will see the fragrance itself on the left you will see some of the marketing stuff for the fragrance you can pause the video and read it for yourself and then in the middle you will see the fragrance so if I take out the bottle you will see it looks like this so this is a 60 ml perfume extract at 48% perfume oil so um, you are kind of getting what you pay for. So I was quite surprised that I actually picked up this fragrance. I never heard about it, but a good friend of mine and a collector has pointed me in its direction. Now, I have to be honest, as soon as I tried it, I fell in love with it. And because this is this fragrance is right up my alley when it comes to the types of fragrances that I enjoy. There are not as many people that are aware of the brand itself and the fragrances that they have. I think one of the most famous perfumes that you might know if you are familiar with Roja Dove is the fragrance called M, which is actually the same fragrance as Fetish. Now that's the fragrance that they essentially created for this brand for Pure Distance before it got discontinued and then he created Fetish for his own brand. So now this is a citrus, fresh, spicy, green and creamy fragrance. Now this fragrance will essentially open up with lemon, orange, mandarin orange and yuzu what i've discovered in my fragrance journey is that yuzu is one of my favorite notes you can find it in on the beach from louis vuitton which is also a fragrance that i've had in my collection but i've sold once the bottle ran out it is the most beautiful uplifting fresh citrus note that you can imagine and in this specific fragrance it is combined with as i mentioned lemon orange and mandarin orange to create a beautiful beautiful captivating invigorating mouth-watering citrus blast in the opening so Let's spray it and then talk about the rest of the notes. So you will hopefully see the actual sprayer is quite good. <laughs> what a gorgeous, beautiful, unique, unique profile when this one opens. After the opening that I mentioned, you will encounter the following notes in the mid. Pedigrain, mint, and black currant. If you have smelled Torino 21, you will encounter the same mint note used in this fragrance. It is a beautiful, beautiful mint that is going to freshen up the fragrance even more, make it even more invigorating than it already is from the opening. So it is gorgeous, but it is also followed up by Pettigrain and black currant. Now the black currant essentially make the fragrance a little bit fruity. So it will add a little bit of the sweetness and the black currant will be the note that is going to transition this fragrance from the mid into the base. And from the pedigree side, you will get the typical pedigree feel. Kind of an orangey, spicy, spicy component to the fragrance that I like. And what this one does in this specific fragrance is that it makes the orange, it makes it into a dirty orange. So the freshness from the opening that you're getting with the lemon, the orange, the yuzu, is going to get a bit more mature. It is going to ripen up a little, if you will and it's going to be mixed with the pedigree from the mid. Now the pedigree from the mid, as I mentioned, is adding this dirtiness that you can find very similarly in Oligarch. You can also find it in Terre d'Hermes. It is beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, mature orange. So it's not the most freshest of oranges that, that you're getting in the mid. It's kind of, it's kind of, um, it's kind of being tamed, so to say, and it is gorgeous. So this is a beautiful upscale fragrance, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now to finish off the notes, what this one dries down is beautiful, gorgeous combination of musk, oak moss, and patchouli. Now, what I'm getting primarily with this is a combination of patchouli and musk. 
I think the oak moss is present, but it's kind of in the mix, so to say. So it's contributing to the overall experience, but I cannot, I cannot smell it by itself. What I am getting the most, though, is the musk. Now, the musk is a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful musk. And what I found after, I think, six, six hours of wearing this one, more or less, is that I am getting a very, very similar kind of a white musk vibe that, I'm all, that you can also find with silver mountain water. But of course, without any of the inkiness, without any of the other stuff, I'm, I'm simply comparing the musk itself to the musk from Silver Mountain Water. Now, it is this pure, white, clean, soapy, ice-cold musk. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I hope it does, but it is gorgeous. Now, the citruses and that I mentioned in the beginning, so the lemon, the orange, the yuzu, will, with the help of the pedigree and mint, remain there for quite a while. So this is the main type of a scent you will get from this fragrance. So this fragrance is first and foremost a citrus, freshy and spicy fragrance that can also lean a little bit green because of the mint actually. And then in the dry down, as I said, due to the musk primarily, you are getting a very, very creamy, creamy dry down. It is stunning. I love this fragrance. I also forgot to mention it is a 2019 release and the perfumer is Antoine Lee. And I think there are about 30 people on Perfumer that, that own this fragrance. So definitely not a commercial hit, it appears. But if you know, you know. And to me, this is a absolute must have if you are a citrus enjoyer, right? Such as me. If you enjoy your citrus fragrances that are not the most youthful ones, meaning they can be worn in an elegant upscale formal occasion but also with a nice white crisp t-shirt while you are just having fun and enjoying the spring and summertime easily so this would make my top five spring and summer list easily now this is a fragrance that is not going to last too long regardless of its 48 percent perfumeal concentration it is going to be on your skin, you know, delivering an, an active scent of, I would say, about six hours. And then after those six hours, or actually rather in the fifth hour mark, you will start to experience the dry down of the fragrance. Now, don't get me wrong, the musk in patchouli would show itself even before the actual dry down, but the full actual dry down will kind of ease into or start to, to come to the stage after the five hour mark. And as I mentioned, at that point, it will be a skin scent. It's not gonna be the most projecting scent because of the concentration itself. It will remain and hold the citruses on your skin for six hours, which is a solid, solid thing when it comes to a citrus fragrance. I don't have any complaints when it comes to the performance of this one, but due to its concentration, it's not gonna project as much. The initial projection of this fragrance that you can expect will be in the first 30 minutes and this is where the lemon and the yuzu and the the orange will jump off your skin the most and if you ask me this is also the most beautiful part of this actual fragrance because i am a huge huge fan of yuzu as i mentioned probably five times in this video so as i said when it comes to the actual occasions you can wear this one pretty much anytime anywhere i would probably try to avoid the highest of heats because indeed the pedigree is turning the orange a bit more mature, a bit more ripe, a bit more dirty, and that might not work the best in the highest of heats. But for spring, this is a no-brainer. So, so to me, in my mind, this is competing with Oligarch when it comes to the usage. So as I said with Oligarch, if you're using it in a closed space, if you're using it in a formal occasion, if you're wearing a white shirt, if you're wearing a white t-shirt, this will work perfectly because of the nature of the pedigree and orange. You know giving it that mature feel a little bit i will not recommend this one to be used if you're under 25 and this is more for 25 and up but of course you can do whatever you want and this is also in my opinion a strictly strictly male scent now again if you try this one as a female and love it please wear it but in my mind this is a very stereotypical manly citrus fragrance now i really enjoy the quality when it comes to pure distance i don't have too many fragrances from this brand let me show you the ones I have and kind of spoil future videos. But I have one of the most beautiful dark plum fragrances. And again, spoiler alert, but I will do a plum video at some point. And then I also have a beautiful, beautiful white musk ambergris fragrance 
that is um, that is called Pure Distance White. So I have a couple of uh, couple of videos to make when it comes to this brand. Um, so far, my favorite has to be I notice that has been my video. Thank you again for watching my videos and for leaving a comment. If you have any uh, review suggestions, please do let me know. I have already planned out two future reviews based on the suggestions that I've received in the comments. If you want me to review one of your favorite fragrances or potentially a fragrance you're thinking about buying, let me know. I'm very happy to do so. And then otherwise, uh, I've been, I'll do my best to mix up the reviews. So not to only do rojas because I can pretty much crank out 50 videos doing roja reviews, but I will, I will also include some of my other favorite fragrances as well. Other than that, have a great week. Enjoy the weekend and I'll catch you in the next one.